what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back at one of my secret undisclosed locations because guess what? We have it. This is the updated, refreshed 2020 Lexus RX 350 L. But before we dive into this SUV, let's talk a little bit about Lexus. Lexus has been around since 1989. That premium brand from Toyota really has a stronghold on reliability and of course some unique styling that you're just not going to find from some of the other luxury brands, especially the German brands. Now with the refreshed RX 350L, you're going to have some exterior changes, but I think what you're pleasantly going to be surprised by is that there's some changes to the interior, especially the infotainment system. One thing is for certain, with this RX 350, Lexus is really trying to keep their hold on that luxury SUV segment that has that additional third row. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2020 updated RX 350L and see really, is it the perfect luxury SUV? Right off the bat, love the styling, love the color. This is a color called Nori Green, specific to the Lexus brand. Right now, because of the shade, it looks a little darker, but it has a nice metallic tinge to it. As we drop down, you're gonna see some refresh on the front fascia when it comes to styling. This one also has the optional triple beam LED headlights, your LED turn signals, and I love how Lexus does their daytime running lamps, especially now that they've gone in a direction where it's all integrated into one housing. If you remember, they used to have it separate, kind of looked a little weird, all together it looks so clean you have your headlight washers that are going to pop out and miss those optional headlights off as we drop down love this nice air right here you do have a functional side air curtain and you're going to have the led fog lamps built into the front fascia a little bit of a fake vent here which i am going to zonk i don't know why that needs to be there but i do like the flat silver that goes across the lower portion now as we come across that brand identifiable grill. You're not gonna confuse this grill with any other brand. The way it cascades, that spindle grill cascades down, nice large opening. You have the brushed aluminum all the way around the perimeter, that Lexus logo, forward facing camera. There's that flat silver that crosses across the whole bottom of the front fascia. Gives it that SUV look, but very, very nice angular cuts. It's one of those things that either you love it or you hate it, not many people are in between. I'm digging it, the style. I think it makes it stand out, especially in this Nori Green. Now, when we go up onto the hood, love the body lines here. You have two light body lines that kind of raise up and then they fade away as you go towards the windshield. Other than that, you have two peaks on each side that gives you a nice visibility, nice reference point of where the front of the vehicle is as you're parking, maybe pulling into the garage. When we come around the bend, what do we work with? You have a Beautiful 20 inch wheel. They call this a triple chrome wheel. Love all the multiple spokes, super clean design. When we're talking about, well, Joe, what's the size of this tire? You're looking 235 on the width, meaty 55 series sidewall, ventilated brakes, and this model that we have is equipped with all wheel drive. Flat black around the fender treatment. I think it works. Uh, I think if it was color matched, it'd be a little too much Nori Green. So I think this breaks it up nicely, at least on this particular model. Now, when we go down the rest of the fender, you can see how that body line kind of curves down and then you have one that goes into the belt line. Color matched on the mirror caps, that chrome trim that mimics what's around both top and bottom of the window treatment, color matched on the mirror caps. And I like the way they have the flat black, especially on the lower sill. It kind of flares out a little bit. This is obviously sitting on the same chassis as the Toyota Highlander. Now, one of my favorite things is as we work our way back, you do have a very, very low pair of roof rails, which is gonna help with aerodynamics, but it also looks really clean with the brushed aluminum. This is really one of my favorite things here. Floating roof design, but I love the way they integrated the quarter window, which is right here, into the rest of the blacked out area, which gives us that floating roof design separation. Very, very unique. Another thing that I really like is the body line that gets picked up here and kind of flares out a little bit. Also think that gives the side a lot of character, which could be quite bland if they didn't have some of that. So I'm glad that they went that direction. Now, when we get to the tail end of the business, full LED on the, on the brake lights, 
Love what's happening with the turn signals there. Look at the design. Just really, really exquisite and clean. Low roof spoiler. You got a shark fin antenna up there. I'm going to zonk the windshield wiper. I feel like at least on this premium Lexus RX 350, it should be tucked in up underneath the spoiler and swing down this way. But still, nice size rear glass. You have the gloss black extensions to increase your aerodynamic efficiency. Even the way the taillights kind of extend off the back of the vehicle look really sharp. Now, as we drop down, brushed aluminum. There's our RX 350L badge. A little bit of brushed aluminum across that bottom section. And I don't know if they're going for an exhaust looking vent there, but I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's just a little too much. So I am going to zonk the two corners, but I like this nice, simple rear lower bumper area that's just flat black and the green, the Nori green is my favorite. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this RX 350L. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have two hood, uh, hood struts holding the hood up. Underneath that, tasteful engine cover, the silver with the black and the Lexus logo, very tastefully done. What are we looking at underneath that plastic cover? That's a 3.5 liter V6, 290 horsepower, 267 pound-feet of torque, same power plant from the Toyota Highlander. This one, like I said, has all-wheel drive. It is mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 7.3 seconds, quarter mile in 15.5. The car does weigh 4,387 pounds. MPGs could be a little bit better. 18 in the city, 25 on the highway, and you can tow up to 3,500 pounds with this Lexus RX 350L. Now, of course, one of the biggest sell points, like I pointed out earlier, is going to be the wonderful reliability out of that naturally aspirated V6, and it's nice to have an eight-speed automatic transmission. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to that interior, and see what's new for 2020. All right, guys, we're inside this 2020 RX 350L, the fourth generation of this SUV. I know you're at that point where you're like, Joe, I'm liking the Nori green. I'm liking the changes to the outside. How much is this? You're looking at an MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, right at around $63,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels. Now, you have soft touch material across the top. It's like a, a nice, almost like a dark chocolate brown. You have some flat silver, some gloss black style material, and then I like the, the beige. The beige is working very well with the chocolate brown. Nice stitch work, it's soft, and you have a large pocket down there. You'd probably be able to slide a couple Big Macs and also a bottle of Coca-Cola. This does have the optional Mark Levinson sound system, 15 speaker system to give you the perfect amount of tune. Now, when you get to the dash, you're gonna see soft material, the stitch work, that flat silver, very, very classy. Everywhere you touch, look at this, wonderful soft touch. New for 2020, check it out in all of its glory. That's 12.3 inches. So you could tell everybody you have 12 inches, over 12 inches in your Lexus, 12.3 inch. It is a touch screen, which is nice. So you could actually reach out and touch it. Or if you want, you could use the Lexus trackpad, but actually quite simple to navigate through. You got all your fuel information. I could go into music and whatnot very easily. Let me put it into reverse, show you our backup camera. You do have trajectory and you do have 360. Obviously the doors are open, so it's not showing us the full 360. We work our way down. You have your Lexus analog, classy luxury clock. You have your radio controls, AC controls, obviously dual climate. You work your way down, heated seats and ventilated seats two USBs, a 12 volt, which is wonderful. And I'm liking this trim here. It's this wood with these lines, very, very classy. Two cup holders, you have a little holder here for some uh, toothpicks and some breath mints. Bottle of hand sanitizer is recommended in your cup holders. You have your uh, mode selector knob here, sport, normal, and eco. The ability to lock the set center differential and shut off traction control. And then here is that Lexus trackpad. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I'm going to have Victor kind of show the screen again and let you see how easy it is once you get practice. So I'm going to go to menu and now I'm just going to trace my finger and it actually kind of bumps every time I go over something. Let's say I want to go into climate control. Real easy to do. It's easy while I'm sitting here. I wouldn't want to do this while I'm driving. So that really is the zonk is that it is cumbersome to use while you're driving. But while we're sitting here, it's easy. Back to the action, the leather. Everywhere you look, nice, soft, even on the sides here. Really did a wonderful job. Armrest, look at this, it's like a trampoline. We open that up, 
You could drop simply a box of Twinkies in there. Don't even have to open it. Two USBs, a 12 volt, close it up. And then we have full electric assist seats. The leather is wonderful, ventilated and heated. 12 way positionable for the passenger and the driver. And I'm telling you right now, they're super soft and comfortable. And then you have a standard size sunroof. My zonk is, I wish at this price point, it was a panoramic sunroof. I think that's something that we expect. You do have a very nice frameless auto dimming mirror. Tons of headroom, tons of shoulder room. Feel good sitting here. Come on over to the business end. I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Lexus RX 350L. All right, guys, business time. On the door panel, you do have not one, not two, but three memory seat settings, which are easy to get to and nice to have. You have the nice brushed aluminum with the Lexus name that lights up at night. Here's your full electric assist seating with power lumbar, which is great. And then the steering wheel. I love the thick leather. And I'm actually starting to dig the use of the wood here. It really kind of breaks it up and really makes it even look more luxurious. Flat black on the buttons, look a little dated, but still work great and don't show fingerprints. You do have small paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight-speed automatic transmission. There is an optional head-up display, which shows you lots of info. And then you have the dash. The dash, analog tack, analog speedometer, coolant, and fuel gauge, and then you have that 4.2 inch display in the center, I was hoping for something TFT. I was hoping for something a little bit more LED based on a $63,000 vehicle. So that is gonna be a Zonk, but it is super clear and very easy to use and navigate through. You do have the head, head up display, so that is a nice addition, but I'm telling you right now, comfort, I actually love driving this because when I get out, I don't feel sore. I feel good to go, but why don't we go ahead, let's check out the mid row, because remember, technically, there's a third row in this RX 350, and see if your backseat passengers are gonna be as happy as you are sitting up front as they're in the back. All right, guys, mid row time, lots of room, feeling good here. So you can see clearly just, I had the same amount of headroom as when I was sitting up front. Seats are great, backs, you have some leather, you have some nice pocket, you could put a book in here, an abacus, Maybe even a video game controller or something. Like say you can't let it go and leave it at home, you can take it with you. Two AC vents, what's going on here? No connectivity, ouch. But get, get ready because I, I promise you there's no zonk that's gonna be issued. Here's my seating position. Look at this, huh? Doesn't that look fun? You got your sliding seats. You got seats that recline and when they recline, they re I almost felt like I was gonna fall off the back of this thing. They recline very nicely, plus, if somebody's peeking in the in the windows and you're like, ew, there's a creeper staring at me, leave me alone, stay out. So it's nice to have these shades here, especially if you have younger kids. You don't want those weirdos looking in the back, but get ready for Lexus to blow your mind. Watch this. Dum, dum, da, dum. Look at this armrest. It's a little hard, but you got heated seats. Boom. Look at that cup holder, two cup holders, and then get ready for the crescendo. Ah peanut M&M holder with two USBs. That's what I'm talking about. That's a dream in a box right there. Put it back, material is great. We're gonna do it. Let's check out the third row in this RX 350L and see how usable it really is. All right guys, time to get into that third row. Now, the L on the RX 350L doesn't stand for an extra long wheelbase. It actually stands for extra length added past this pillar. What you're getting is basically four cubic feet of space extra over the regular RX 350, but you do have that third row capability. Now, it's gonna be tight, and it really is meant for, let's say you wake up one day and you find out that you had two kids you didn't know about, now you could drive them around legally because they have seat belts and could sit in that back seat. But let's see how tight it is. We're gonna pull forward the seats. That's the easy part. The Zonk, I'm gonna say getting in, is that they don't have any plastic. It's all carpeted where you're gonna put your feet, and you know and I know that your kids are gonna just rip that up with their shoes, but let's go ahead and climb in. Put one foot down, climb on back. Now, here's the interesting news. The interesting news, you actually have rear AC back here, rear AC controls and vents, which is a nice touch. The bad news is, look where my knees are, and look where my mouth is. My knees are basically in my mouth. I would not want to travel very far, but the good news is I could ride with you because legally we got to have seatbelts and you could put the seatbelt on. But other than that, 
this would really be meant to punish somebody. This is a good punishing seat area. But let's go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see does the L really add up to extra room. All right guys, time to check out the cargo area. You push the button, you do have electric assist, but it is a little on the slower side. The good news is nice flat, uh, flat floor with that third row down. We come over to this area, there's some things I wanna point out. You got a nice 12 volt, and then you couldn't see it earlier, there's the AC controls and the AC vent for the third row. Now, the third row, the people are squished, but they do have their own AC controls. And then as we back out, you could see the power controls to raise and lower the seats. I'll be honest with you, they're very, very slow. So I hope you're not in a rush to get anybody anywhere. I think most of the time, you're gonna have that third row folded down. If you want extra, if you want extra room, of course, the mid row can fold down. What are we looking at numbers? 23 cubic feet of space with the seats up, 58.5 with the seats down. So you can really maximize the usage with having that row down. But let's get to the best part. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's find out how this RX 350L really drives. All right, guys, we left our undisclosed location. We're in the Lexus RX 350L. Right away, the thing that I love about this SUV is the comfort. The comfort and everywhere you touch and look, very, very high end. Now, going down the road, looking at our super large 12.3 inch screen, it's very, very clear and it's nice that it's a touch screen or you could use the trackpad, whatever you feel is appropriate for that time. And I'm glad that they did that rather than forcing you to use the trackpad, but it's simple to understand by just using the simple icons on the right of the screen and it's super large and clear even with the sunroof open there's not and there's no glare on it which is great going down the road super quiet inside the cabin of this rx 350l all right guys let me do a little acceleration test got it in sport mode on throttle all-wheel drive gets us planted to the ground nice smooth shifts and I really think that the acceleration for this vehicle is, is spot on. I don't think it needs to be any faster, to be honest with you. I think you're going to be able to merge nicely onto highway traffic. Super smooth power delivery with it being naturally aspirated. And that's the wonderful thing about the naturally aspirated V6 is that the torque delivery is very, very linear. You're not wasting for any, waiting for any boost or anything like that. And having the 8-speed automatic, nice, consistent shifts, not anything sloppy like a CVT. But as we're pulling away, great throttle response. Now you do have the three, the three different modes. You have eco, normal, and sport. When you have it in sport, that's gonna give you a little quicker throttle response. Um, the way that the engine and the transmission behaves is gonna be a little bit different. Visibility is awesome in here. These eight pillars are pulled so far apart, it's almost like you don't even have eight pillars. Looking out the back, even, I was a little concerned, I'll be honest with you, I thought the rear window was gonna be a little tight because of the size and the angle of it. Clear as day, nice side mirrors. You got all the safety tech and the head up display and the Mark Levinson sound system. Where it's probably gonna be a little sore for people is, is in the, the center stack of where the infotainment system is. Uh, it, it, there are a lot of buttons. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You could clearly see there's a lot of buttons there. You do have a CD player, which is nice and I'm telling you, the more that I drive these Lexus vehicles, the more use I'm getting to the track pack, uh, the track pad to go through the different functions. Now, sitting here, like I said, it's real easy. I'll go into music, listening to 80s on 8, and uh, with a nice sound here. Bruce Springsteen? How can you not like Bruce Springsteen? Well, let's get back on throttle on this right-hand bend. Throttle down. All-wheel drive just grips the road nicely. Great feedback to the wheel as well. And the thickness, I really like of the, on the steering. I think that it's good enough for people to hold on to, but also feel comfortable with it. And really just a smooth driving experience. Quiet cabin. They really did a great job with the sound deadening, the thickness of the windows and brake pedal modulation feels good. It really is a nice balanced vehicle, even with its extra length. 
and it's quiet. I mean, even under on throttle, full throttle acceleration, nothing too, too loud. Seats, you got the lower lumbar adjustment, nice wide low bottoms of the seats to really fit a range of different body types. Infotainment system, I'm glad they revised it. I just don't know how a lot of people, please put in the comment section how you feel about this infotainment system screen. Now I know that with it being over 12 inches, that makes a lot of people happy, but it is that iPad style screen, so it doesn't go anywhere. If you think you could push a button and make it disappear, it stays right here. But the great news is line of sight and visibility is, is really great on it. And the fact that it is a touch screen, I think that's a nice feature as well. But overall, I'm pleasantly impressed with this RX 350. The reliability, they hold their value and very comfortable, at least for the front passengers and the back seat passengers in the middle row. That third row is just for emergencies. But we're gonna go ahead, hopefully this gave us a nice, gave you a nice overall feel of what this RX350 is about. We're gonna get back to our undisclosed location. So I'll see you in a split second. But before we do, I almost forgot, this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, if you were wondering. But definitely let me know about the screen. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, guys, been another wonderful day with this Lexus RX 350L. I definitely got to thank Corey and Zach over at Lexus and Toyota for allowing us access to this press fleet vehicle. Nice to see the changes that Lexus has done for the 2020 revision, especially when we get to that interior and that nice, large 12.3 inch infotainment system. Is the back seat usable? But you know what, in a pinch, if you find out you have more kids that you didn't know that you had and they need to get somewhere, you have that back row to pop up. Other than that, I think you get that reliability and the luxury you expect from this brand. But if it's SUVs like these that you wanna see on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta get it up to Victor working that camera like a champ, getting this Nori green. He wants to go out now and get some sushi, all because of this color. So thank you, Victor, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.